Hello, my name is Laurel Papworth and I thought I'd show you today how to boost a YouTube video. I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to throw money at Google and not really get what you want, boosting a YouTube video to the right audiences. And then I'm going to switch to a more complete boosting, I guess. It's the equivalent of boosting a Facebook post with less control than on Facebook or boosting an existing post in Ad Manager on Facebook, which gives you a lot more control. So we're going to start with number one, which is a really quick boost. And what I need to do here is go to my YouTube uh, account and have a look at my videos. It's at studio.youtube.com and I go to um, my video setups here. So I'm actually on studio.youtube.com slash channel. And I'm going to scroll through the videos until I find one that I want to boost. So it's the five Facebook tips. Now it's four event managers. Just remember that. <laughs> so I click options. I click promote. And this will take me into the YouTube sorry, the Google ads area. So youtube.com slash ads, which is Google ads. And it tells you the four steps. And what you'll see is on step three is where we're going to have our problem. So we click get started. And I've just quickly gone through this. So when you click get started, all the four steps are here on the page. So you've got um, your video ad chosen and you fill in the description and it's got all the stuff there. You can see the preview and everything like that. And when you click continue, it takes you down to locations and I've chosen Australia and New Zealand. You can choose wherever locations you want and languages. Then I click continue and then we're on demographics. And what I want to target is event managers, social media managers, I don't know, marketing managers, um, maybe some small businesses that do events and functions and things like that. So under demographics, the options it gives me is gender, age and parental status, and then customer intent. Keep customer intent as broad as possible means it will just show this to everybody on YouTube, kids that are playing computer games, Twitch and that sort of thing. Um, people doing crafts, um, everything. That's not suitable for my audience. My audience are business audiences. And so I'm looking through here to see if I can find any audience that will work for me. And this is the problem that I have. It's just not specific enough. I want to find people who, no, I don't want people who buy event tickets. I want people who sell event tickets. This is why and then you go down here and you can set your budget and all that kind of stuff. This is why I would skip to the advanced campaign setup and then I can put people's job titles in and things like that. So let's move across to a video I've actually already recorded. Skip to the advanced campaign setup and then we'll be good to go. Hello, my name is Laurel Papworth and I'm going to show you how to boost a YouTube video so that it gets to more people on YouTube and you get more views. So the first thing I do is I go to YouTube. Uh, I've got to just make sure I've got my video ready to go. And the one I'm going to boost is a content video. Uh, that just means that it's a tutorial rather than a call to action like buy something or sign up for something. I'm just going to give them some content, but I want more people to see the content. So let me click on the video. I want to make sure I've got a clean URL, so I'm just going to remove anything after the ampersand and then pause it. You don't need to hear me yabbering on. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into my Google Ads and the link is ads.google.com slash aw slash campaigns slash new. It'll ask you to log in and then add some other stuff after it, but I always bookmark that link. Now, not all of these have a video as an option. So the one that I like to use is product and brand consideration, campaign type, display and video. So I'm going to click that one in Google Ads and then I say video. I like uh, influence consideration, click continue. 
I'm going to give the campaign a proper name <laughs> and now I need to choose the budget and the dates. I'm going to spend $50. What can I say? Not a big spender. I just want to boost it, just get a little bit of love. It starts as soon as it's approved. Um, my video ads take a few days, up to a week, probably because I don't do a lot. But anyway, end date. I'm going to end it, um, let's see, probably the end of October, a couple of weeks. I can tell then whether people are interested or not. For the networks, this is where the ad's going to be placed. I want it to show up in YouTube search, so if people are searching um, for this topic, they'll see it. I want it to see in YouTube videos, like on the channel, on the homepage and places like that. And then the partners are the third party partners. All languages. I'm probably going to stick with Australia, although I think my content is wonderful for people overseas. <laughs> In reality, I've got an Australian accent, so mostly it will be for Australians. I'm not looking to exclude anything or anyone. Don't exclude competitors. You need their customers to see your stuff. My ad group name is um, Tourism Top 5 Group. Now I want to choose who is going to see it. I have all sorts of audiences that I use. If I go to audience here, I'm going to use oh, advertise, my advertising and marketing services audience. You can set up your own. This isn't a video on how to set up audiences, just how to boost a YouTube video. I also like social media enthusiasts because my videos are very much focused on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. And so my followers tend to like a broad range of my content so I'll include them and um, people who in sales and marketing jobs also like the sort of content that I do well that's the idea anyway <laughs> I've got to choose my keywords so I can enter in a related site tourism.australia.gov.au it's a tourism page and now Google will evaluate the Tourism Australia page, look at who visits that page, look at the keywords from that page. So Tourism Australia, Australian Tourism, Tourism and Travel. That'll do. The topic is social media and I'll choose marketing. For placements I'm just going to leave it for the time being. I'll let Google decide where the video is going to show up on YouTube and I don't have any specific channels that I think will have the sort of traction to the sort of audience that I require so we'll leave it there. For the bidding section I've entered in a $1 or I can enter in $10 or I can enter in $0.50 cents. You know, whatever you you think you're willing to pay, it tells you over here how many people you're going to reach. I really don't need to reach a lot of people. I just want some more people to know about me, see my videos, to share them and so on. Now it's asking me which video do I want to boost, so I'm going to grab that URL. Did I already do this? I might have already done this. It doesn't matter. Paste it in here. And I want it to be skippable in stream ad, otherwise people can skip it if they don't want to see it. The final URL, oh, I'm not fussed about that, I just want people to be able to watch the video. Video ad format is skippable in stream ad. And then it says the final URL, which is where you want to send people to. But I just want more views of the video. So the only thing I can think of to do is to probably put in just my website and that will just give people something to click on have a look at I'm not fast like I said I'm doing this just to get more brand awareness more marketing not specifically sales but you can choose what you want to do so I'm going to click um, create a campaign so the ad will go up on ad approval in Australia all languages product and brand consideration is the goal and it's a video ad obviously and I've chosen 
social media enthusiasts, I've chosen my different target audiences and my keywords. There's the image and the link to the video. Continue to campaign.